going to be good on the front panel. Front panel. And what I've done is I've laid it down to the side that we'll be showing. So over here will be the bottom, this will be the top. So we'll start down here at the bottom and say, inch and three quarters will be our bottom stud. Inch and three quarters. Inch and three quarters. Straight edge. I mean, you're gonna have to sand this off later, but I'll tell you what, it's gonna be nice because you'll have nice straight lines with your staples. It's not imperative that you do this, but it just makes it nice. So you're looking at ten and a half, and yes, measure it all the way across, ten and a half. So go here at uh, ten and a half. Well, ten and a half. Ten and a half. And ten and a half. This shows you what so you're thinking. To make your pencil lines really light, don't put them on heavy. You're going to have to sand it off later. Don't have to sand too hard. Work smarter, not harder. And you, could, you don't have to nail every one of them, but I'll tell you what, it makes a difference. That's uh, 22 inches. forget, don't make your line across here because you won't be stapling here because it'll just shoot the staple straight through. And you can stuff behind it. Or hit somebody. That's 34. Just a really good carpenter, and you can just go at it. But uh, I don't really suggest that. I say just uh, measure it out. That way you don't really need an ugly mess or something. Your work will be so much better looking. Put some glue on this thing. What we're gonna do? Let's make sure you got plenty of staples. A couple of magazines of staples in your pocket. Now we're looking down here. Magazines in your pocket. We're gonna take this out. Remember, put this. It's down. Take this out. Flip it over. Now 
don't start from the bottom up because you know, you know damn well you're going to have to uh, take it and put it in like this because I cut it go up under here so the next uh, layer is that way. Look at that. There's a staple right there. I missed that. That could have been, that could have been really aggravating. Staples. And that way you don't have to worry about your glue drying because you made a mistake. And that's why I filmed this for y'all. You people. Right. It's probably best if your glue bottle is full. My glue bottle is not full. Much glue on there as you can. It's you know it's it's best if you got tons and tons and tons of glue. But Dab. 
start at the bottom. Start at the bottom of this mess. Here we go. up high enough when your other piece comes down like this it'll hide that for you which is really awesome okay next step is to drill a hole in there where the AC goes and then run the trim router in there to uh, route it out and then finish up with the staples to make sure that everything's stapled nice and tight thanks for